Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Okay. Can you get out? Let's see if we can get out. He can't get out. Oh my gosh, I love it. We've done it. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to Hello Neighbor. It's been a while since we've played just regular old Hello Neighbor, but we're not just playing it like we normally would, if that makes sense. We are using the cheat engine from Greenhouse M13, and actually, since the last time we've messed around with the cheat engine here, it's changed. There are some updates here that you may notice. So one of the coolest things that we can do now is we can actually set hotkeys for different commands. So one of the things that I want to do with the cheat engine is mess around with the neighbor, obviously pranking him by spawning hundreds, thousands, a lot of items, random, weird, different items. But there's also something that is really, really cool with this particular update. Basically, what we can do is we can target an object and we can get that info from the object. And one of the hardest things that I've had to do with this cheat engine, and in particular with summoning items, is figuring out what the items are actually called. But now we can actually see what the items are called in the game so that we can spawn basically any item that we can see. So for instance, we're looking at this garbage bag. If I uh, turn on the, the cheat engine here and then I say get object info, it tells me what the name of that trash bag is. It's BP underscore trash bag underscore C. So if I type in the command summon BP underscore trash bag underscore C, we got ourselves a trash bag right there. And taking it even further, remember we have the multi summon ability, which is so much fun. Now, I kind of forget how to use it. I think that you put the object in first, so we'll set up our trash bag spawn, and then you set how many of the item you want to spawn, I think. So let's try with like five. I think that worked. Yeah, 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 that worked. It did the clustered spawning thing. So basically when you spawn a whole bunch of items, they spawn directly on top of each other. And as soon as you bump into them, they explode like fireworks. So if I do the same thing, but this time with a hundred of them, it's going to be a little bit more exciting. Okay, this is basically a trash bag bomb waiting to go off. As soon as I bump into it, it's going to blow up. Let's see what happens. <laughs> It's just like, ah, and then it blows up like popcorn. It's like trash can popcorn. I'm sorry about all the garbage I left in your, your lawn there, neighbor. Hopefully you, you can get that taken care of because I'm not sticking around. So this is really cool because now we can actually get the names of the items. Now there is the, the ball, right? The little ball that we play around with that they're right there. I don't know the name of that object. So I'm hoping that maybe we can find it in this world so that we can spawn a whole bunch of beach balls. That seems like a stupid and fun thing to do. I don't see it though. And that's a little upsetting. I wonder if it, do you think it rolled down the street? Beach volleyball, where did you go? Oh, Hey, <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. It really did roll all the way down the street. How in the world did you make that turn? It's like this ball has a mind of its own. But this is the really cool thing because, you know, I've never messed around with summoning this particular item because I didn't know what it was actually called in the game. But if I set it down, I just need to find somewhere where it won't roll away. Why are you so rolly? You just roll everywhere. Maybe I can put you right there. Where are you going? Seriously, beach ball. You need to cool it. All right, you stay there. So now we get object info, baby ball. I never would have guessed that that's the name of this thing. Baby ball of all things, really? But now we have the power. So let's just start out with just summoning and then let's save the command. And so now it should be set to numpad one. So we're gonna have to test this, but first let's just Okay, it works. So we have two options to spawn the baby ball. Why is it even called that? It's weird. It's a beach ball. So we can go into the mod menu and we can click summon BP baby ball underscore C, whatever it is. Or hopefully we can just press the number one on our number pad. I'm going to do it right now. Hey, that works and it works beautifully. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, this is so cool. So basically I can just... 
Yes, this is good. This is very good. Kian happy. Kian make mini mini beach ball. Kian have simple mind and enjoy making mini beach ball on street. I'm sorry that I'm talking like that. I'm done. But oh, this makes me so happy. Oh, this just gave me an idea though. We can change our size. How do I do it? What's the command? Tell me the command. You tell me the command. What is this? Portal? We can do portals in this game? What? Oh, we're gonna have to mess with that. We're gonna have to mess around with that in a future episode. I think we're gonna have to dedicate an entire episode to playing around with portals. Holy moly. What is light me up? Adds light around you so you'll be able to see in the dark that's actually really cool let's ignore all these commands for now we'll come back to it player mesh like what transform the player to the kid use it again to be adult we can change our character okay this is blowing my mind there's a lot of new stuff here we will get back to this we will i promise but for now we're gonna focus on being weird and dumb by spawning lots of beach balls but now we can change our size right default size is one but what if i change my size to like 10. Okay, I'm big, right? No? Why am I not big? Size 10. There we go. Oh, that's a big boy. I need to turn on ghost mode. I'm clipping through the ground, please. It's too scary. My giantness is much too scary. Okay, now go back to walk. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since we messed around with these commands. This makes me so happy. Okay, so we're a giant. Oh my gosh, what just happened? What is happening? Why? Why did I get launched? Excuse me? I'm in the neighbor's backyard. This is very strange. I, I don't know exactly why that just happened, but it did. So one of the weird phenomenons about spawning items when you're big is that sometimes they get big with you, but I guess these don't. So, oh, the beach ball. The beach ball is so powerful. I just got an achievement. What? Top of the world achievement. Okay, this is very strange. The beach ball knocked me into the sky and gave me an achievement. Thank you, beach ball. I appreciate it. Okay, so what I was hoping was going to happen is that as a giant, we'd be able to spawn beach balls that are also giant. I don't think that is the case. However, I do believe that we can make this sort of work. So let's change our size back to one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up several of these beach balls. And by several, I mean exactly four because that's how many I can hold. And then I'm going to change my size. So I'm going to change my size back to size. Well, let's just do five. Let's just do five so that we're not getting too out of control. Still stuck in the ground. Things are still weird. Okay, go back to walk mode. So the beach ball that I'm holding in my hand should be giant. It is. Is this one? Yes, it is. All of them are. Okay, so this means that we can change the size of objects, which we kind of already knew. But to be honest with you, I'd kind of forgotten like the uh, the intricacies of making items giant. But now with the ability to save commands to a button press, we can actually change the size of items pretty quickly, at least a lot faster than it used to be. So basically what we need to do is we need to set a command up to change our size to normal size, right? So that's what we're going to do. Size one is going to be tied to numpad two. And then I create another command, but this time to change our size to size 10. And I set that to numpad three. I'm also, uh, I wish that we could do more than four, but I'm also going to set up a numpad four to be ghost mode because we use that quite a bit. So there we go. So now we should be able to toggle between being big size and little size. So there we go, normal size, big size, normal size, big size, normal, big, normal, big. Sorry, I'm getting caught up in all the excitement. Let's go back to normal. So what exactly does that mean? Well, it means that we can pick up items. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can just pick them up or we could just spawn them right in front of us. And then we can change ourselves to big and then we can drop the items. <laughs> And then you change yourself back to regular size and then you go and pick up more items and rinse, wash and repeat. And then you end up with a lot of giant items, whatever item you want. And in this case, I want giant beach volleyballs all over the neighborhood. I wish it was a little bit faster to be honest with you, but it's definitely a lot faster than it used to be. The process of multiplying many, many large objects was tedious. Now it's a little less tedious, but still hilarious. I really wish that kind of like the uh, outwit mod in Granny, that you could just select an object and then just clone that specific object. I don't think you can do that with this. We can test it out though. So let's see, uh, stop moving, please. Get object info. See, it didn't change any of the parameters of the 
actual spawn. It's still called BP underscore baby ball underscore C. So I don't think there's any direct way to actually spawn this, like clone this ball. We can't spawn a billion giant beach balls on the fly. We have to do it the old fashioned way, but still it's fun that we can do that. And of course we can do it with other objects too. So like for instance, a lawnmower, let's get the object. Okay. So it's lawnmower, simple enough. Probably could have guessed that. And then let's do a multi summon BP underscore lawnmower underscore C. I forgot to actually put in the number. I am a fool. Five. We want five of them. Now let's try. Yeah, okay, that worked. Yep, yep, okay. It's raining lawnmowers. It's a little scary. Oh, neighbor's joining the party. He seems to have noticed that we were spawning lawnmowers. Hey, I haven't actually seen that. He just, what the, what did he do to me? Neighbor, you took away my ability to fly. The, that was very, very strange. The vacuum actually made me fall through the ground. That was the first time I've actually seen the vacuum in action, like in person. That was an update that they did, I think like four or five months ago. And that's the first time that I've actually seen it, but that's okay. So now we have the lawnmower in our inventory. We make ourselves big, right? And then we drop the lawnmower. Now it is a giant lawnmower in his front yard. Imagine how easy it would be to mow your lawn with a lawnmower of that magnitude. He could literally mow his lawn in one pass. Just do a full circle right around your house. Easy peasy. I got the solutions here. I'm making giant lawnmowers. We're starting a new business. What's that neighbor? You said you want another giant lawnmower? Well, I can't really blame you. It's a great product. Here you go, neighbor. There you go, buddy. I hope you enjoy that giant lawnmower. What? Uh, he just caught me. He also kicked his lawnmower. That was rude. I worked hard on making that lawnmower giant and he just kicked it across the neighborhood. He has very strong legs. Oh gosh, that always scares me. I. God, okay, we're back in the neighborhood. We're back into reality. Although reality is just about as weird as that dream sequence was. We got giant beach balls and giant lawnmowers all over the place. This is all just very exciting for me. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I can spawn beach balls everywhere. And actually we can, we can get really, really crazy. We can change this command to multi summon. So we can multi summon BP underscore baby ball underscore C set it to like, I don't know, a hundred. This seems like a terrible idea. I'm going to blow up the game, but we're doing it anyways. And then set it to numpad one. Did that not work? Oh, I accidentally clicked it. I need to remove it and then save command. So this should summon a hundred beach volleyballs. There you go. But now all I have to do is press the number one on the numpad and it spawns a hundred beach volleyballs like in a line. That's actually really cool. It's like a cannon. Oh my gosh. This is too much fun. I can't stop. It's beach volleyball pinata. Oh, there's beach volleyballs everywhere. I'm, I'm kind of scared. It's also making loud noises. I think the Beach balls are landing in the error teleporter over here. Does that actually work? Let's just test this out. Let's yeah. Yeah, that's what's happening. That's why we're oh gosh, stop, please. The noise. It's too much. Okay, neighbor. Um, I seem to have filled the neighborhood with beach volleyballs or beach balls, whatever you want to call them. It's very, very exciting for everybody in the neighborhood, maybe, if they're big fans of beach balls. Uh, what happens if we spawn them inside? Oh dear. Oh my. Oh, they, they're bouncing everywhere. I'm just, I'm spawning a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm pressing the button a lot and I, I might regret it. Although I kind of don't, I kind of love it. I can't stop. So keep in mind every single time that I press this button, I'm spawning 100 of these things. I've pressed the button at least 30 times. So that's 3000 beach volleyballs in the neighborhood and probably about a thousand of them, if not more, are in his house, in his hallway, to be more accurate. Welcome to Hello Neighbor, the, the picture book. It's very, very exciting. Uh, I, I've made a mess. Where is the neighbor? That's what I want to know. I, I should get out of here and let's just, let's cool it for a second here. Let's, oh my God. Gosh, see the, the, the problem is, and the reason that the game is slowing down so much is because these things bounce all over the place. They bounce all over each other. And that's really what's causing the slowdown here. It's not that there's so many of them, it's that they all have collision. And so every time they run into each other, the game has to think like, what is happening? Where are these things going? I'm making the game very sad. 
basically that's what it boils down to. Now, I assume that if I make myself into a giant, which I am now a giant, also that noise really needs to stop. It's making my brain hurt. But if I make myself into a giant and I press the button, it doesn't make a hundred giant beach volleyballs, just normal size beach volleyballs, which is still fun, but you got to admit, it would be pretty sweet if we could make them giant on the fly. Okay, so clearly I've made a mess of the neighborhood. It, it was a lot of fun. I think that I'm gonna start a new game here because I've, I've caused too much damage. The game is really, really bogged down right now. It's actually getting a little bit better, but it's still pretty bad. There's a lot of beach volleyballs around. So let's just, let's just restart. Ah, much better. One beach volleyball. Is it better though? I don't know. I feel like one beach volleyball is way more boring than 3000. Just saying, that's just my personal opinion. Okay, so it reset our commands. We're, we're clean slate. We got a brand new start here. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna go around and look for objects that would be fun to spawn that we haven't ever really spawned before. Like, can we spawn a refrigerator? I don't know, let's find out. Get object info, fridge underscore house underscore C. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay. Summon BP underscore fridge underscore house underscore C. And I'm actually gonna just save the command here. Then we're gonna exit the menu and we're going to go outside and we're going to see if we can spawn a refrigerator in the middle of the street. Let's do it. Yes, yes we can. And it opens. It also floats, which is interesting. And now it's also set to the number key one. So essentially I can, I can spawn infinite refrigerators. That's amazing that I love this. I've decided we need to do something for the good of the neighborhood. Let's build a wall of refrigerators around the neighbor's house. What do you say? I think that sounds like a great plan. I need to get like a little bit lower. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's do this. We're, this is happening. This is a thing that is happening right now. We are building a massive impenetrable wall of refrigerators around the neighbor's house. Don't worry, people. I am a professional. I'm a professional refrigerator wall builder. I know it's, it's a very impressive trade of mine. I have years and years of experience building walls out of refrigerators. I have no idea what this is gonna look like when it's all said and done. No, neighbor, neighbor. <laughs> the refrigerators that makes me so happy it actually is trapping him okay okay no 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 you need to you need to leave you need to go away my friend we have work to do okay you know what let's just check it out it's it's looking glorious it's actually beautiful but i think what i'm gonna do here is start building this way let's let's start let's start building our wall this way okay are we low enough we're low enough all right it's gonna look good oh this is magic I think we're almost done with our refrigerator wall here. They're all on, you notice that too? They're all running. Man, the electricity bill for a wall made out of refrigerators must be insane. Doesn't seem entirely practical. But who am I to judge? Are we done? Have we done it? Have we built the world's greatest wall of refrigerators? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's absolutely glorious. And I love everything about it. So now the question is, where's the neighbor? Oh, he's stuck on the wrong side. Okay, I'll tell you what. I think if he catches us, he will respawn inside of his house. Hey, neighbor. Hey, hey, buddy. There you go. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see if this actually works. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Where are you at, neighbor? You inside your house again? Come on, buddy. Where, where are you? Where are you? He's got to be somewhere around here. You taking a pee? Yes. Yes. No, he wasn't peeing, but he was taking a shower. Okay. Can you get out? Let's see if we can get out. He can't get out. Oh my gosh, I love it. We've done it. We have trapped the neighbor inside of his house using a wall of refrigerators. Appliances, his greatest weakness. This is amazing. Now here's another question. Uh, we should be able to spawn the other refrigerator type, right? So I'm actually gonna go into his kitchen here. I'm gonna turn on the, the mod here, get object info. So this one's just called fridge, I approve. So we'll just delete the house out of it and then we'll save the command right there. So this one is set to number pad two. Hey, that was rude, neighbor. I have very important business to take care of. I gotta finish this glorious wall of refrigerators. Let's see, oh yes. It's really strange how it spawns them 
facing that way. They're always facing that way. It's really interesting, but I like it. Oh, wait, no. I think it's just my positioning. Oh, okay. So if I go like this, it's going to spawn the other way. Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay. I wish that I had built this wall with all the refrigerators facing outward so that you can actually open the doors because that seems hilarious. But I'll at least do like the second layer here with the refrigerators facing the right way. It's a little finicky, to be honest with you, because they spawn based on the angle of your character. So you can see how they're, <laughs> they're, they're situated a little weird. It's a little awkward, but it's pretty great. So if I just, maybe I can just create like a brand new wall. Oh my gosh, that's just stupid. And it makes me very happy. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. There's no way. There's no way you can get out of here, neighbor. It's an impenetrable wall of refrigerators and it's beautiful. He's actually trapped inside of his house. He can't get out of his house. Now, there is a minor issue with this. If we didn't have the ability to float through objects and fly, uh, we wouldn't be able to get into his house. Minor problem, I know. But honestly, who cares? This is glorious. And look at this, they all open. <laughs> You can actually open them up. Oh, this is great. Now that's a nice shot, isn't it? Isn't that just nice? So now that the neighbor has all these refrigerators, uh, he needs stuff to put inside of the refrigerator. So let's see, what would he want inside of his refrigerator? Well, it looks like he's got nothing. I think he would want milk. So let's give him milk. So we'll get the object info. BP underscore milk underscore C. And we're going all out. We're doing the multi summon. We're doing a hundred at a time. We're saving the command to numpad three and we're giving the man milk. Let's do it. There you go, sir. Enjoy your milk. I hope you enjoy all of the milk that we are providing to you. A lifetime supply of milk to go in your lifetime supply of refrigerators. I think I kind of broke the game. Too much milk for one man to handle. Neighbor, you. You're good. You're good. Good neighbor. I think he's good. I think we just need to spawn it a little bit slower. I was I was getting a little too rambunctious with my spawning of milk. What can I say? The neighbor loves milk. Just can't have enough of it. Hey, no, not no, not the not that. Not the stinking vacuum. His powers to remove my power to fly. Look at this mess. What a mess, a glorious, beautiful mess. Oh wait, I gotta test something out. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're gonna spawn a refrigerator and then we're gonna spawn a hundred milk. Is there a hundred milk cartons inside of this refrigerator? I'm kind of scared to open the door. We gotta do it. <laughs> okay, wait, what? No, they were all in the freezer. Oh that was incredible. I love this game. I love this cheat engine. Oh, it just makes me so happy. Guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope that this has made you as happy as it's made me. We should do more. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for things that we can do with this crazy mod engine cheat mabobber in Hello Neighbor, cause it's magic. What more can I say? But guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Hello Neighbor. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.